Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hi, I'm C, and I'm with B, and we are the <laughs> Cynical Progressives. Ding! Good night, everybody. <laughs> I watch TV on computer. I watch TV through you know, um, live streams and, and, and everything else like that. And I'm completely happy because I, I choose those moments. And more than that, if I buy something, I don't want to keep buying it. I talk to people all the time who they are buying multiple TVs, like one a year, one every two years. Multiple computers, one or, or, or every two years. Multiple everything, because they're buying lower quality things, they break, and then they, they, they replace it. I go, you know what? If you bought the item that I bought, which I think is a one-time purchase, and then I'm good with it, mm -hmm. uh, you would be spending less. You keep replacing or replacing or replacing. It's not cost effective. never know what we're going to talk about um, and that's fun for us that's our thing we just like to talk about no, oh look yeah see we both rubbed our noses at the same time there's a certain simpatico <laughs> with us because she has you know a, a whole bounty of lovely hair and I have a whole bounty of no hair so there's a certain egalitarian equality thing going on there so what do you want to talk about B. Uh, I'm usually better at asking questions. <laughs> All right, um, ask me a question. Uh, um, I didn't do it. Well, like, what might people assume about you, and what would they be surprised to know? About me? Mm -hmm. About you. Alex Trebek. What would people assume about me, and what would they be surprised to know? Um, uh, probably that I'm a minimalist. Um, I always call myself a closet uh, minimalist because um, I think people think about minimal, uh, minimalism is like getting rid of everything. And the, the, the construct is to just simplify and reduce your life. I don't have a TV. Um, I haven't had a TV in decades. Well over a decade. But um, it was it was like a you know a boyfriend had one in my house and moved away and left. You've it. had boyfriends in the past. No. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. It was like a fictitious. It's good. It was part of the story. Um, All right. mm -hmm. No. Like the last TV that I bought for myself is a um, old school. Yeah, old school TVs. <laughs> you know the big gigantic TVs. You got to carry them. But they're not they're not flat. I mean, it's so old, when you turn it on, you can see like um, Gomer Powell performing live. It's not flat like the earth. Absolutely. Um, yeah. No, uh, yeah, so this guy lived at my house and he moved away and he left his television and he kept paying the cable bill just because. So- well, it's nice that you're helping people in the community to, you know, you, they stay with you. And so at the time I got really back. into like home decorating shows. If you turn it on, you'll find something to watch. It just fed the consumerism. It fed my constantly redoing my home, which did feed my creativity, but it fed spending money. So I'd get home from work and I actually had a decent income at the time and I would go and I would shop and I would, I would repaint, move furniture at two o'clock in the morning. The minute I didn't, I put that TV on the curb, I stopped that. Yeah. I realize it's not that you're actually interested in searching for something. You just turn it on and it shows you this nonsense and you're, you immediately become enraptured by it. Animal documentaries, some weird mystery, just some random stuff. Oh look, some reality thing about someone on a fishing boat. You know, just captures of life. You're watching these, and I'm a vegan. I'm watching these silly things. So, the thing I like about Netflix is that it's something that I go to. It's something that I choose to binge on. I, oh, I want to go to see 24, even though no one's watching this now. Oh, that was a cool episode. Let me tweet that. Did y'all see the last episode that originally aired 10 years ago? Cricket. So to me, minimalism isn't, isn't 
reducing the cost. It's just simplifying your life.